and then I'll try and show you what to do with the chair. So without a chair, we're in that press up um, in that plank position. We're coming up one, coming back down. Just which hand I'm leading with, and then when we've done five, we come down and then lead with the opposite hand. Okay. Good. If you want to do it with a chair, absolutely no problem. Um, I'm going to show you sideways because ideally, um, and I want to make sure that it's propped with something, it's not going to slide across the room. So if you can put it against the wall or something, again, you will do it from here, coming up. Going down, got it? And then after five, you'll turn it round and go the other way. Good. I'm glad I got a chair, I've done my bit, off you go. Five and five. Whew. Off you go, one, two, that's it. Well done. Three, go the other way if you want, give it a try the other way, hopefully you're getting a bit of uh, carpet wrap, yeah, give it, a, give it a try if you can, got a few more in you, I don't understand. so if we're doing it from the chair, I'll do a few more from the chair, so we're on the forearms, coming up to the wrist, back down to the forearm. That's it. Almost like we're walking. That's enough of that one. We've got about two more exercises to do. So we're going to do the most, what I think are the most beneficial. One will be the bridge. So nice and gently lying down on the floor. Lying down on your back. First thing I want you to do is get comfortable. I want you just to slide here for a second. Let your heart adjust to the fact we're lying down. A couple of nice deep breaths. Bring the heels right back as close as we can to our bottom. Hands are out at 45 degrees. Unless you want to start making it a bit harder because we've done this a few times. Whereas you can go to stage one, which is where you're on your elbows. With your hands out to the floor, it works as stability. When you take your arms up, you lose some stability as you push. To make it harder still, reach up with your hands in front of you, hold them up, and as you push up, you'll realize you're not as stable as you think you are. Let's go for ten, whichever way you want. Here we go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's hold up and can we lift our heels off the ground for ten times? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and rest. Move one leg right into the middle. We're going to do the full movement this time. So we're going to lift the leg each time up and push. Bottom down, leg down. Leg up, push up to the ceiling, leg down. We're going to do ten on one side and then go straight on to ten with the other. Are we ready? Steady, let's go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, hold this up for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
One, change over. Leg forward, other leg back. Here we go, straight away. One, bring the leg down each time. Two, but I'm not letting the foot touch the ground. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one holding up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Grab both knees with your hands. Bring and rock gently backwards and forwards. Stretching out the lower back. Round in circles. Five one way. Gently five the other. Both knees together. Three, four. Five, go the other way around. Five, four, three, two, and one. You'll notice we do quite a bit of stretching with the back. We're going to roll over onto our front. We're not doing a plank today because we've used the arms quite hard with the press up, so I think it'll be unfair. Okay, what I want you to do is put the hands if you can, into the small of your back. If you can't get into the small of your back, you can hold onto your sides, or you can put your hands under your chin. If your hands are under your chin, remember when we lift, we're lifting up the arms, the head, the elbows. If your hands are in the small of the back, pull the elbows back up, and let's go for 10. Here we go. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, holding up for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Well done. Let's do a few minutes stretching, grabbing hold of a leg behind. Let's just pull that in. I usually get my hand into my shoe. I've got short arms, I can't reach my leg. That's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. I know I'm sure John's got other answers. And changing. Reach for the leg. Pull the foot back. You should feel this on the front of the leg, on the quadriceps. The ones we used quite hard when we started off with the squats. That's good. We've got about four minutes left to finish our stretching. So what I want you to do now is slowly come up. Please notice the word slowly. I'm going to turn around. We're on our knees. We're going to bring one knee forward. You got it. Palm of the opposite hand, twisting around, look as far as you can behind you. Hold that stretch. Good, changing knee. Opposite hand, twist round in the other direction, turning the head, following it all the way through. Brilliant. Coming back to the front. And gently but slowly coming up. Lean forward and slowly bring the spine slowly up, rolling the shoulders back. That's lovely. Good, let's roll those shoulders back and round. Hopefully everybody feels energised, they feel well, they feel like they've moved, they've done what they can. I'm not asking you all to do everything. I'm sure one or two of you could do a lot more, but again, I need to keep it fairly basic. Turning the head side to side, this time slightly further than you did before, because the one thing I don't want you to do, and it's hard to do it remotely, is I can't be with you to tell you 
where you might be getting it slightly wrong if you are, I'm not saying you are, and then you might injure yourself and hurt yourself and it will be my fault and I don't want that. So pulling the head slightly to one side, dropping the other hand down. So the easiest way is just to try and keep things a little bit basic but that doesn't mean to say you can't work hard to the other side. Tomorrow I'm going to show you a Spider-Man press-up, okay? That's tomorrow's teaser, a Spider-Man press-up. And coming back to the center, that's good. Let's just take the legs wide, go around in a circle. One way and a few circles the other way. If anybody got any aches and pains, unmute yourself and let me know. And if we've got another minute, just walking it out, coming up onto tiptoes, we can have a go. Okay, take one arm. Got to walk back a bit. It's going down the back of my back of my neck. I'm reaching my hand. I'm making sure I'm standing tall because it's easy to turn in, and I'm stretching myself over to one side, getting a good stretch down the side of my body. That's it. Back to the center. Changing over arm. Hand is nice. Holding onto my elbow. And leaning over to the other side as far as you can go. Getting a really good stretch there. And back. That's it. Let's stretch the arms forward. Stretching all the way. Turn the hands down the other way and push a bit further. That's good. Raise the hands up to the ceiling with your hands the other way. Push, push, push up to the ceiling. That's it. Bring the arms down. Last one. Pull the arms across here. So I'm pulling. I'm interlocking my fingers, but I'm pulling out either side. Less than a minute. Hands in the small of the back. Pull back the elbows. Really good. Last exercise now. Breathing out. Breathing in deep. Breathe in, 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 in. Breathe out. Breathing in. On the next one, as you breathe out, bring your arms up. Give yourself a round of applause. Well done for taking part. Excellent. Have a wonderful day. Hopefully see you tomorrow either Thank at 11 you. or 3 or both. Happy to see you at 11 3. I'll um, unmute you so you want to say anything you can. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Excellent. Good. See you all tomorrow. Take care. Thank, Thank you. you. Take care. Have a good day. Thank you. At least we got internet today. <laughs> Thank you. Excellent. Thank you. Bye. Bye.